Hello artists. This week we are going to travel to the Pacific Northwest. The Pacific Northwest is located in parts of Canada and the northwestern coast of the United States. Specifically, the Pacific Northwest includes British Columbia, which is in Canada, the state of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and parts of Northern California. We are going to talk about totem poles this project. So totem poles are created by the First Nations people that live in the Pacific Northwest. They are monuments that are created to remember their ancestors, history, people, or certain events. Totems are made from red cedar, which is a type of wood that um, comes from the Pacific Northwest area. Completed totems are thought to belong to the community. If you click here on this link inside my thought bubble, there's a great short video about important, interesting facts about totem poles. How and why are totem poles made? Totem poles are carved and they can be between 10 and 60 feet tall. They're made for different ceremonies and to honor different people or families. Many have symbols and stylized human or animal carvings. So what are we making? We are not going to make a totem pole or try to replicate um, a totem. Totem poles are special within the First Nations community and um, a special artisan makes a totem somebody who is very knowledgeable about the history of their community and also the history of how to make the totem pole. So we don't want to be disrespectful in copying that. So we're going to be inspired by totem poles to create a 3D relief animal portrait. Um, a relief is a type of sculpture where one side is flat and the other side has some areas that kind of pop out. So we are going to be working 3D for this project. So what to do this week? We do have a Zoom this week if you'd like to join the Zoom and we can talk about starting this project. We are going to choose an animal first that we would like to draw and we are going to make a stylized relief portrait of that animal. So if you click this link, it's going to take you to a presentation that has some different animals and there are some characteristics of that animal personality listed also. There's also a forward facing sketch of the animal to help you. So if you'd like to join the Zoom on Tuesday at one, here is a link. We're going to be looking at the animal personalities and talking about which ones we chose and um, starting our sketch of our forward facing animal. So if you're not going to join the Zoom this week, that's fine. There's nothing to turn in, but you do need to sketch a forward facing animal portrait so that next week we can begin working on our final draft. So I hope to see you on Tuesday. Happy creating. Um.